Welcome to my apartment. This is my finished apartment tour and I have been working on this since I moved in here. I moved in January 1st and this place has been a labor of love. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I have a two bedroom, two bath in Honolulu, Hawaii and I am so, so happy with this place. I grew up here, but I moved to Hawaii's version of a city. I'm gonna show you the place. This is the entryway. There's nothing crazy going on here. I think my favorite part are these hanging wall hands that are my press possession. They're so cute, they hold all the keys. I did indeed shatter one of these when I like aggressively took it off, but I just think they kind of look funky and I needed something weird like this in my apartment because the rest is very heavily aesthetic, I guess. And I have some more hanging wall hands right here. This is my shoe rack, I keep all of my everyday shoes and stuff that I use the most often here. By the way, I'm gonna be linking every single furniture piece, all the decor in this apartment down below if you guys want to check it out. I've always been getting so many questions on where my stuff is from and so if you want to check anything out, I'm going to have it linked. But I have that. I also have this little bench which is really convenient for when I'm putting on my shoes and it's also big enough to fit two people so you can sit here if you want. I also have this little like utility closet and I just have a washer and dryer in unit which is so so nice. I also keep my other prized possession. My lovely Dyson vacuum. This thing saves me because I am indeed a hair shedder and there's always hair on the floor every day. I vacuum like once a day and it's still not enough. Um, but I really, really like this. It's a really good vacuum. Now the fun is gonna begin. Let's, let's head on into the living room. Shoes off. We don't wear shoes in the house here. And this is my living room. <laughs> is a very open concept. It's just very airy. I think what initially drew me to this apartment was the lighting because there's just windows lining every single wall, which is so, so nice. I do not have blinds yet. So here's to hoping that no one has seen me naked. <laughs> I haven't really thought twice about it. I really love the morning light in here. This apartment is east facing, so I get the sunrises, which is really nice. But I think I am getting blind soon. TBD. The theme for this furniture is very, I think it's called mid-century modern. Don't quote me on that, but I love the warm light wood tones and I don't know, I just feel like it's all very cohesive. I have my lovely little broken lamp. I did indeed shatter her and she's kind of broken. So if I pull these too aggressively, she will snap in half. And this is always crooked and it, hello? It always bothers me every time I walk past it. I just, I try not to think too much about it, but I feel like it's not a home until you've broken at least one thing in it. So now this place is officially a home. I have my blanket basket right here and this kind of just adds some color. I love this blanket. Moving on to the bookshelf. I think this is one of my favorite pieces in here because it's just such a beautiful statement piece. It's one that I'm definitely gonna keep for a long, long time. It has this material that's called grass cloth, I believe. And I did ruin it right here, but I glued it down. No, I'm like, don't, don't do a close up. <laughs> don't do a close up. I cover it with the blanket. So you know what? It is what it is. I have a lot of fake plants. You're gonna notice I have lots of fake plants in this place because I'm not allowed real plants. Don't ask me. I already get lots of questions, but the fake plants honestly work. I don't have to take care of them because I'm pretty sure I would kill them off if I had real ones and I had to take care of them. So the fake ones, kind of work in my favor. They're very low maintenance and they still look really cute. I have a little dish up here, just kind of framing this bookshelf piece. And I just love all the decorations on here. I have pictures of Koda, which is my dog. He lives at home. He doesn't live with me because it's my parents' dog, but I have his little shrine right here. It's perfect. On the next shelf, I have my little, I'm like, this is me pretending that I know art. We got a Warhol book, Andy Warhol, Claude Monet book and then an impressionism art book. And these just look really cool right here. I like to leave them open. Have I opened these and have I looked at them? No, not yet. I have lots of candles in my apartment. I have more non-functional candles than I do actual candles just because these ones, I feel like I don't wanna light them because then it's gonna get all like crumply and stuff. So these are just for decor. 
I love these reed diffusers. They make the apartment smell very, very nice. Got some free surf magazines and this really cool wave that I got from this store on North Shore. And it's basically a glass blown wave, which I think is really cool. Moving down, I have this insane bouquet of flowers from the man himself. My boyfriend got me these for Valentine's Day and they smell so good. Like you would never know these are fake. Well, they're not, they're not fake. They're real, but they're preserved and they're supposed to last for like a year. And they smell really good. And it adds that's all I get is the third shelf. <laughs> I have these amazing candles from this small business, Appalachian Jewels, and they're so, so delicious smelling. Literally smell that. It smells like oranges and freshness. Very good. I have a book right here with my beautiful little bookends. I'm obsessed with these bookends. I got the crystal ones off of Etsy, and I just think they add so much personality to a bookshelf. And then down here. I have my lovely speaker. This thing is so, so good. The bass shakes the room. I try not to turn on the bass too much because I have neighbors upstairs, downstairs, to the left, to the right. So I have this little mermaid statue. She's so cute. I kind of wanted to tie in some ocean themed stuff. Some more candles that I do not, I don't like these. I think you can tell how much I like this area because I talked about it for way too long. But moving on to the actual living room, I have this giant coffee table because I did not measure it when I bought it. I made a lot of mistakes <laughs> when I was like furnishing this place, but I actually kind of like it. I know it's like really quite oversized, but I think it kind of works in the space and I can fit lots of things on it. I have my TV. This console is also that grass cloth material, which I think adds a really cool kind of a vintage-ish look. So I love, love, love this. I have some fake succulents. I'm gonna emphasize that the plants are fake because if my landlord watches this and he's like, bitch, are those real plants? I'm not trying to get kicked out. These are indeed fake. On the actual coffee table, I have this linen table runner that goes across the middle. It's kind of weird. I don't know if I love the way it looks, but I just thought it would add some nice color because I wanted to make sure that I have a lot of pops of color in this apartment, especially because all of my furniture is pretty neutral. So you'll notice I have little pops of color here and there. I love incorporating green coasters. I also have some coffee table books. Break some more stuff. <laughs> my couch is from West Elm and it's really adorable. It's not my favorite is that since I'm tall, I can't like comfortably lay across the whole thing which is fine. It's definitely not a cloud couch. It is comfortable, but you know, it works for the space. I feel like the greens tie in in this living room area. Speaking of greens, this, you can like- Oh shit, I'm in the <laughs> This is probably one of my favorite parts of my apartment. And that is my little mirror over here, which is lined with fake plants all from Target. They don't look too fake. I feel like if you didn't know they were fake, you might not know, but this is just so beautiful. I have this mirror here. I'm constantly sitting on this thing. It's like a little bean bag. I always sit here and it's just such a cute little area. So I really like this mirror. It's next to the big windows. And I think that's pretty much it for the living room. Let's go to my bedroom, which I spent a lot of time in, obviously. Welcome to my bedroom. love this space so much. It's very calming in here. This bed is so comfortable. It's hard to get out of it a lot of days just because the mattress is so soft. The sheets. I have these prints on my bed that most of them are from Urban Outfitters, but I actually really like the frameless look. I feel like it's a little more less structured, which is kind of what I was going for since it's right above my bed. I also have a fear of the frames coming down on me in the middle of the night. My nightstand is a super cool fluted piece from West Elm and I have this cute little mushroom lamp. It honestly is such a vibe at night. It's a very warm light and I kind of have a lot of pops of pink in this room. The living room is very green. I have lots of light pink in here just because I wanted to change up the vibe from room to room. Moving on to this corner. I think this is my favorite little corner of my apartment. It is so cute. I'm obsessed. It's kind of like my little, my little reading area that I have not read in yet, but I will someday. This is fairly new. This is like one of the latest editions that I got in here. I love the little mirrors right here. I just think all the decorations in here work very cohesively together. And so this corner 
is just so cute, all the light woods. On the other side of my room, I love, love, love this bookshelf. I originally had this naked bookshelf thing going where I just had the books all stacked on each other and then it ended up falling on top of me. So it still gives that very free form feel but still being pretty structured and I'm a big reader. I love reading and this corner just makes me really happy. Next to it, I have another little blanket basket. Moving on to my dresser, I love this side of my room. I especially love how my bed faces this. I've got lots of pops of pinks in the colors on the prints. I have pops of pink on the dresser and I love, love, love this style of dresser. I believe it's mid-century modern. And again, the light wood. I also have these clocks that I always get questions on and they're so cool because they kind of just flip over every minute and every hour and it's a really cool vintage type of look. So nothing crazy going on on here. Let's head on this way. I have my little leaning ladder shelf. This I took from my room at home and it's just mostly got cute decor stuff. Again, you would never know, but these are fake flowers and they never die. Got my little perfume set up, some candles, my little hat. This is my favorite hat that I wear a lot. I've got my collection of claw clips. It's getting a little excessive, but I'm a big claw clip girl. I have my other favorite little purse right here, some of my favorite sunglasses, and then this is my boyfriend's basket. Out of this apartment, this is, <laughs> this is his belongings. I gave him that, and I had to make it cute with the basket. I was so excited when I toured this place because it has a walk-in closet and walk-in closets are not that popular in Hawaii, especially at my house back at my parents' house. I didn't have the biggest closet space, so this makes me so happy. Welcome to my walk-in closet. Got all my clothes hanging up. I got my cool shoe set up, which I really, really like. And I love this closet space. There's also a closet right behind you, which is where I keep my purses, my hats, some makeup stuff. And then on this side, I have all of my linens and just like extra sheets and towels. And I also have a bathroom that's in my bedroom, which is so cool because I've never had that before. So this is a big deal for me. The lighting's about to get a little yellow. It's very simple in here. I've got my cute little lemon bath mat. One of my favorite parts is that I have over the toilet storage, which is really cool. I have Jack and Jill sinks. I have Jack and Jill sinks. I don't use both sinks because if I use both, then I have to clean both consistently. Nothing too interesting in here. Let's go back outside. Another big part of this apartment that I loved so much was that I have a balcony space, which is so nice just because I can open it, let all the air inside. And it's also just really nice to have a little outdoor space, which I'm really grateful for. When I was searching for apartments, it definitely wasn't on my list of things that I wanted to have, but it's just such a nice little addition. It overlooks the big, the big city. city. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is where the cooking doesn't happen. I only know how to make pasta so far, but I'm on my way to becoming more of a chef. That's the goal by the time I move out of this apartment, which is not gonna be for a while. I love my dining table. It's a dark wood, which kind of adds a little bit of contrast I know it's not for everyone, but I love this round table. I think it fits in this space so well. I only have two chairs here just because it's just me living here. And I feel like if I had lots of chairs, if I was alone, I'd feel lonely. But usually when I have people over, it's just one or two people at a time. So I just got two chairs here. If anything, I take the chairs from outside. We've got lots of cabinet space, my little Polaroid fridge with some of my favorite people on it, and I got this little thing from Etsy. I cannot believe how blessed I got with such a big kitchen space. The counter space is great. I have my little coffee corner with some of my cute little handmade ceramic mugs that I got from a small business. And this Nespresso machine is so, so good. I make coffee every single day and it's one of my favorite morning rituals. I'm not gonna show you what's inside all the cabinets because I feel like that's boring, but I will show you my snack pantry because it is my prized little place. All the snacks, all of the energy drinks, all of the pastas, the snacks, the coffee, the little crackers and chocolate type stuff down there. It's a good place to be. 
Honestly, I would have been happy if this place was a one bedroom, but I kind of lucked out and the way it worked out was just crazy. So I do have two bedrooms, which is such a blessing because I am able to turn it into my office since I work from home. It has been such a nice delicacy to have so much extra space. So right here, I took these prints from my old bedroom at home. So they kind of remind me of that and it feels really really homey having them here and i also have another mirror right here i wasn't supposed to have this one this is the same exact one as the one in that corner but basically this one's broken so they replaced it with that one and they let me keep this one so now i just have this mirror right here which is really great this is my pink bathroom i have to tell the story behind this because it is so special to me basically everything is pink in here my grandma who lives in new york i call her tutu tutu means grandma in hawaiian and her bathroom in her house in new york has always been pink it was like that when she moved in in the 1940s 60s am i stupid 40s definitely not the 40s maybe not the 40s 60s is <laughs> No, no, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Definitely the 60s. It is just such a vintage bathroom. There's pink tiles on the wall. She has a pink toilet. And so I kind of wanted to pay homage to that because I've always just thought it was the cutest. This is kind of my representation of Tutu's bathroom, but in my apartment. So pink everything. I've got a little pink map of New York City because New York City is kind of like a second home to me and I have a lot of family there. So this bathroom just reminds me of Tutu. It reminds me of New York. And anytime I have guests over, they use this bathroom. So it's really, really nice to have. Okay, finally, we're almost done. <laughs> Finally, this room is probably my favorite room and space in the entire apartment just because it is so me. Let me just show you. This is my office. It's just so good. I really put in all of my effort to designing this. I'm obsessed with the colors in here. So I built this desk. I built my dining table. I built my bed frame. I built so many things in this apartment. So I'm really proud of that. I wanted to give a little shout out to myself because that was a lot of hard work. So built this desk from Target. It's a very simple desk. I have my little setup here. I've got some notepads. These are from All Things Lillianne, one of my friends. She has a small business. I just finished the office and so I'm definitely going to start using it more, but I'm obsessed with the chair. Is it the most ergonomic? Absolutely not. Is it the most functional? No but it just made sense. I, this matches perfectly with the room. I was like, I'm so sorry, but it needs to happen. On the side of my desk, I have this little bench that I kind of move around sometimes. Sometimes I'll put it in front of the chair, but I have my YouTube plaque right here. And I have this painting done by a local artist here in Hawaii. And it's really special, obviously, because it's done by a local artist, but this was also her last piece that she did before the arthritis in her fingers made her not able to continue her art. So this is such a beautiful piece. It's of a mountain range on Oahu that is one of my favorites. So yeah, this is really, really special. Love this little corner. When I tell you I curated this corner of my room, I curated this corner of my room. So I built this little clothing rack. It's got some of my shoes on it. It's got my Aritzia sweat sets, which I chose these colors because it's spring and I thought these colors would look really cute for this time of year. I have more of these little rattan, rattan? I call them pretzel mirrors because they look like pretzel sticks. I have all of my podcasting equipment right here. The first episode just came out this past Wednesday. If you wanna check it out, I am so excited to be doing that more and this is where the podcasting will happen. All of my prints in this corner are from Society6. This chair is everything. This little nightstand is also from Target. I have lots of things from Target in my apartment just because it's a lot more affordable than some other places and they have really cute stuff. I have another one of these vintage flip clocks, which looks really cool right here. Some more fake flowers, a little lamp. And then right here, I have a closet that I just recently organized and I built this little shelf. So I just keep my camera stuff, some extra equipment and some other apartment things in there. We're not gonna pay attention to this pile of, <laughs> pile of clothes. We're gonna pretend like it's not there. Um, I did excessively clean this entire apartment for this tour, 
but that's just gonna stay there. I have another print that I thought kind of complemented the one over there and I kind of wanted to have them match each other in a way just because that was the only green piece and so I kind of wanted to have something green right here too to tie it all in and this dresser is the matching taller dresser to the dresser I have in my room. So the one in my room is wide, this one is tall, it fits perfectly in this space. I took this from my old bedroom back at home and I decorated it with some really cute, these are all like poem books. I have the 101 essays that will change the way you think, some other super cool books, The Mountain Is You, and again, these bookends are absolutely everything. They add so much spice to your little book area. So I love, love these. This was from my old bedroom back at home. And I just have some really cute decorations on here because I didn't want only this side of the room to be cute. I was like, okay, this side also has to be equally as cute. And in here, I literally just have camera stuff, podcast stuff, wires, SD cards, some PR and... That's kind of it. That is my finished apartment tour. I cannot believe that this place is finally done. I feel like when I first moved in, my one mission was to make this place feel like a home. And I feel like I've done that. I feel so comfortable here. For everyone who followed along with the moving process, shout out to you because this took so long to put together. So all of you who have watched me since I moved in, you are the best, and if you haven't watched, I will link the moving series down below. This kind of wraps up the moving series, and now this is kind of just where I'm gonna be for who knows how long. Um, I hope a while because this is just my dream apartment, and honestly, it's all thanks to you. Thank you for watching my videos. I am so glad you all love the apartment. Again, I'm gonna have everything linked down below so you can check out the furniture, the decor. If you stayed till this point in the video, first of all, you're amazing. And second of all, comment down below the help emoji because I've been holding the camera for an hour plus and my <laughs> hands are so sore. Anyway, that's my apartment. My dream apartment. This is crazy. Okay. Bye. Dude, I don't look at this. <laughs>